for this last shared painting on our Lent calendar here in the parish church of St Cuthbert. I have chosen one to reflect the day. On this 40th contribution, we find ourselves uh, on Palm Sunday. And for me, there is no more serene depiction of that first Palm Sunday than that by Giotto. One of his frescoes in the scenes of the life of Christ, which can be found in the gorgeous Gravenji Chapel in Padua. And this painting, not just in its composition, but also particularly in the colours that are used, I think is one of the most beautiful, serene and graceful depictions I know of Christ. Serene and graceful because particularly one cannot even begin to imagine what was going on in his mind as he rode down the hill entering Jerusalem, knowing that he would eventually end up on the cross. His mind must have just been racing in all directions. So to be able to keep it all together, to be able to ride on a donkey down a pretty uh, cobbledy hill, uh, the Mount of Olives, and to have his moment when people actually realized, I think, who he was, they got it. And it must have been lovely for him in that moment to hear those great cries, the hosannas, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And to know that he was not on his own. Yes, everyone surrounding him would let him down, but at least they would have something to go back to. It must be great to say, or have been able to say, I was there that day Christ rode down the Mount of Olives. What a thing to be able to say, to pass on to children and grandchildren. And in the church today, we too can say that in a different way. We weren't there at the time, but being a Christian allows us to journey with Christ every year. We are invited in to journey with him throughout Holy Week. So we too can sing those hosannas. And the other moment that I always keep coming back to when I look at this painting is how not everyone who was there was on his side. And the Pharisees gave a little warning to him, telling his disciples, you know, you better, you better turn it down a bit or you're going to get in a bit of trouble. And Christ's reply, if the Lord's disciples are silent, the very stones themselves will shout aloud. And that's a land, the holy land shouts out to you as a land full of the promises of God made manifest in his son Jesus Christ, none more so on that than on that first Palm Sunday.